confirmation they have passed in the material, opened the hatch, passed it in, and closed the hatch. Don't do They'll go through exactly the same uh, procedures as the Apollo 11 crew went through and stay isolated in that little house trailer affair and then at the receiving laboratory in Houston for a total of 21 days from um, last Friday when they got back aboard the command module in lunar orbit. says everything appears to be going normally. You see the men scrambling around the flotation collar there, the two life rafts attached to the command module, the whole complex bobbing around in the ocean. somebody can find out for us, but this looks like the roughest seas that, that I've ever seen in a recovery. Swell is running seven to nine feet and waves breaking at two or three feet. Maybe Frank Peter would remember. Got an 18 knot wind. They practiced this recovery yesterday in uh, just about the same conditions and were running about five minutes behind schedule. So it's not a major problem, it's just an annoyance. Temperature there, 82 degrees, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm told that the temperature of the water is about the same. It's a rather warm bath. It's probably going to get warmer. It's it's early morning out there. It's a little after 10 o'clock, I guess. Isn't it? Uh, spacecraft now 900 yards upwind of spacecraft of uh, the Hornet. The uh, Hornet now 900 yards upwind of the Yankee Clipper. see them scrambling out shortly and then the helicopter will lower that little cage-like device and bring them up one at a time so if there's any particular order for them to leave the ship I would expect Conrad might be the last he's the commander Navy tradition has it that the captain is the last to leave the craft strange drama really being played out at sea here. It's happened several times before, but um, still fascinating to watch. We don't want to miss any of it. And um, Gulf, our sponsor, has told us not to interrupt anything for a commercial so that we'll see it all. You can see now they've got the hatch open. Or he's got the hatch open. Coming out now, the command module. And the first one is coming out. Outside. All three astronauts now on the raft.
on that, Gordon and Dean, uh, was the exit uh, order from the spacecraft. Well, the commander wasn't the last to leave. He was the first to leave. <laughs> Maybe he'll be the last to go up. Maybe he won't. got an answer to one question. This definitely is the roughest seas in the entire space program, according to the Navy Recovery Control Center in Norfolk, Virginia. Got a bit of research staff, Mr. Now number one. Seven foot swells. The hatch is secured and all three astronauts now in raft one. Helicopter will move in shortly. Uh, Resting comfortably in raft number one. I observe the swimmer making the signal for the first pickup. And the pickup should begin. The uh, pickup will be made with a recovery net, or uh, so-called Billy Q net, which... The uh, Billy Q net... Uh, like a hanging chair. Its uh, center of gravity is toward the back and has the effect of scooping up or Not a 
board with Commander Gordon. You say Gordon? Mm-hmm. Richard Gordon. We repeat that last report. The first astronaut aboard is uh, Commander Gordon. Uh, condition good. Oh.